Hi everybody, this is Symphonic Elk. Happy weekend, and I am here with a special, special treat. So, uh, I was at Walmart today, I know, Walmart. No one likes it, but most people shop there. And I found a couple of these three packs. Now, <clears throat> I am not too familiar with them outside of what I've watched on the Comicholics channel. As always, their channel information will be in the description. You should uh, check them out, although you probably already have. Uh, so anyway, so I picked three. I got one, or four, excuse me. I got one DC, and then one, two, three, and four Marvel ones. So, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Careful opening these. I probably should have opened these before I started recording, but uh, yeah, I did. I'm going to do the best I can with what I have. All right, first one is open, and I have not looked to see what I got. So the first book I got was the one that I knew about, and that was The Unbelievable Gwynpool number one. And as you can tell, it's in pretty terrible shape. I got Champions number one. Doctor Strange number 12. And so this, I definitely saw this Doctor Strange. Um, I saw it is one. Of, it was one of the issues that I passed over that was on the front. So, eh, you know, probably not going to get rich off of this one. Uh, maybe the next one I'll get rich off of. Who knows? All right. Here we go. So, we have all new Wolverine Variant Edition, uh, number 19. Inhumans vs. X-Men, number 0. Ooh, and True Believers, Wolverine number 1, Save the Tiger. So the, huh. Also, not probably going to get rich off of this one either. Moving on to the one, Captain America. I'm trying to be careful opening this one because I do think the Captain America Secret Empire Zero book might actually have a smidge of value to it. Probably not, but who knows. So here we go, we have Secret Empire Zero. This is, I believe, the Walmart variant edition. I did actually look this one up. It's worth a couple bucks. Uh, it's got a spine tick there. I got Champions number two. Okay. The second printing. So, huh. I wonder if any of the other ones are second printing that I didn't notice. No. 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 And no. Oh, huh. when I said the Gwenpool was number one, I lied. It's actually number seven. Huh. Okay. And Monsters Unleashed number two. Oh, it's a Greg Land cover. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, probably not going to retire on that one either. Last but not least, we have the DC ones. This was the cheapest of the four that I bought. It was five dollars for three, as opposed to I think eight dollars is what the other ones were. All right. 
so I got Batman Rebirth number one. I'm going to guess that this is some, the second edition or third edition or I don't know. Eh. Okay. Got uh, New 52 Futures End number eight. And New 52 Futures End number nine. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and thanks for spending a little bit of your weekend with me. Have a good one.